Hi everyone, Penny Dunkai Sue Marcus here. Um, down in town today, got the new central car park here in Benidorm. May look like a crossing, but I mean, if you're Spanish, you can park there, block the crossing up, stop people getting across it, um, risk people's lives or that. Not a problem, funnily enough. Um, joke today I have got one. I'll probably upset quite a lot of people by saying it, but I mean, I think it's about time I adopted a new attitude. Give a shit about no one else but myself. So, um, uh, Here's the joke for you guys. How do you find a blind man on a nude speech? It's not hard. That will probably upset a few people, but as I said, I don't really give a toss. Um, another funny thing, not sure if you heard it uh, a few days ago. Cupboard in our kitchen completely came off the wall. Nearly hitting mum. Luckily it bloody well didn't, because I mean, could have killed her if it hit her. I mean... It squashed the toaster quite a lot and kettle. And I mean, I think that could have happened if Sue's head would have been under that. Gonna pause here and sort out the. Sorry about that, guys, just looked a bit scary. Anyway, so, uh, cupboard fell. All scooters who had done my sauce lifted the door open not so to put a cup back in it. It comes off the wall, only hanging off one hinge with scooters who trying to hold it up so it didn't come off and destroy any more stuff like um, the sink, which I mean... A big heavy wooden cupboard falling off a wall. That could have probably completely destroyed the workplace, let alone the sink. Anyway, so Scooter Sue's holding it. All the glasses we had in it are just falling out because she's trying to like hold it up on the wall with one hand whilst trying to keep stuff on getting damaged but all the well most of the glasses fell out smash on the floor um, then lady comes out and checks it I, I sent someone to come Look at it to fix it. Guy comes to fix it the other day. They go off in the kitchen, babbling away in Spanish as they do. Um, he buggers off home. The next thing we know, the landlady's accusing us of baking it again. Saying, well, how did it break? You must have pulled on it really hard or something. No, we didn't break it, darling. It's because you got a bunch of cowboys in to put it up and it weren't done properly. Anyway, um, 
short story, I mean long story short, we now have been to pay 60 or way for it. And as for the toaster and kettle, she took one look at the toaster and goes, Oh, does it still work? Oh, of course it works, darling. Knock. It's completely bloody squash, but I mean, oh, yeah, I'll make you some armor on toast if you want. <sighs> Just stupid, isn't it? But I bet you a tenner if we'd have been Spanish, would have been different, wouldn't it? She'd have probably said, like, oh, don't worry, I'll get someone out to fix it. Won't cost you anything. And I'll also supply you with a new kettle and toaster. But, no, we're English. I'm not trying to be racist, but I'm just... Having a bad month, let alone a bad year all together, to be honest. Yeah, she has offered to pay half, which I mean, that ain't the best, but still it's summer. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still probably going to cost quite a bit for kettle and tyser, but I mean, and to tell, I guess that's just life. But I was also meant to be meeting friends today, but uh, apparently. That's not going ahead anymore. Funny. <sighs> you ever feel like no matter how hard you try to get by in life, everyone just wants the bloody shit on you? I like, always try to be nice, always try to help people out. I give up my time for people and <laughs> still single, lonely, no one gives two fucks how I feel. Excuse my French. Uh, not mental, isn't it? Not School friends. Oh yeah, we keep in touch, we keep in touch. Then, da don't. <laughs> Life's just one crazy finger. And I mean, end of day, you just got to look after yourself. Because you try to help anyone else or more, you get shit on. Barber shop there, not open yet. I think soon as the fiestas do start, then that is probably gonna reopen, so can't wait. Uh, yeah, sorry about the weird video today, I trust. Felt like I needed to get some shit off my chest and just say a few things. Sorry if I did upset anyone, um, if I lose any subscribers, so nice knowing you. Hopefully, you find a better channel than me. And if the trolls want to come in and troll me and call me a squounger or call me a miserable old sod, B 
think it or not could do with a bloody laugh. Anyway guys, uh, hit the like, hit subscribe. Sorry for the uh, random video of a fat kid walking around Benetton moaning. Uh, I probably even made a few of you laugh actually. Apparently some people tend to find it funny when I moan. Might do it more often actually. Anyway, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Adios.